sure what was going on there. Looks like Shadow Play might have been logged out for some reason, which is weird. Don't know why that would happen. But I appear to be streaming now, which is what we want. So there we go. Arrange some cables here. <coughs> Keep in mind I did just wake up not too long ago, so I'm still a little fuzzy at the moment. But I wanted to uh, have a chance for a long stream today. I wanted to get started. Oh, right about on time. 8 o'clock here. Yeah, just trying to get things going. <laughs> what do I want to do? Um, should be off timers. Okay, I can do shroud. Five or six minutes. And that would be my 20th shroud. So, looks like maybe sometime after lunch um, I'm going to be doing shroud, which is good. Hopefully I can find a group then. If one pops up before, I may go ahead and use a timer. We'll see. I don't believe I did anything but log on yesterday morning and do my da daily dice roll for double XP. I think I got 200 XP. Yay, enjoy. Not a big thing there. Um, what am I looking for? Ransack. Yep, no ransacks. So I'm good there. I may actually take this opportunity to... Oh, I did get a uh, plus one con tome in my daily roll this morning, which was nice as it goes. I mean, it was nice to get to home for once rather than just 100 XP or some gold or useless stuff, but plus one content. Eh, I've already got uh, one of those sitting here. i got a plus one, two upgrade, so I guess you know it works. i got a plus one and a plus one to two, plus two upgrade. I think I'm going to do it first here. Maybe just go over my character a little bit. Um, I need to do another video about that while the stream is starting up and probably most of my normal people that view it are still asleep or about to go to sleep depending on what time zone and country and stuff they're in. thought I'd get started there. Um, so this is my first character, it's my main character, character I've playing, playing the most and longest. I've got a dwarf Fighter 18, Monk 2, Epic 8, Lawful Good. I have got the Greater Tome of Learning, both Heroic and Epic. Um, I've got a full set of plus three tomes that I got from the Anniversary cards. You can see the stats there, my resistance is... I have 6% double strike, plus 15% attack speed, melee. 52 weapon power and 35 positive spell power which I think helps Cocoon um, balance concentration whiz, jump move silently, search, spot, swim Here's my failure in this particular version. This character is UMD is only 15. Um, I need to, next time I reincarnate, make sure that that's higher. Because I really can't do much with that. If I could get that up to... 25-ish, then I would have a chance at actually being able to use UMD for some things. But at the moment, I really have a low chance to do hardly anything with UMD. 
Um, I think this particular one I went with Intimidate to have some dialogue options. Uh, be able to do those because I couldn't do those before and I really wasn't using UMD then and now that I'm more settled at 28, uh, yeah, I would rather have UMD. You can see my feats. I went pure silver because I was doing a lot of Devil Assault. First Blood is handy. Um, just extra damage the first time you hit somebody. Blinding Speed, because normally I'm pretty slow. And uh, again, without UMD, I don't really have a good way to keep haste going for very long. Um, I do have the Time Sensing Goggles, but that's pretty short haste. So this helps me uh, get the movement and attack speed all the time. Of course, epic power, uh, epic skills, overrim and critical. I'm a two-handed fighting great X user, so try to work on my criticals, and then I have one past life for double strike. It gives me plus three double strike. Um, I was using summons a lot, hirelings. So I had Augment Summoning. At this point, when I reduce character, I'll probably take that off. I don't see the point in that much anymore. Um, it did help them stay alive and contribute more to my damage, but pretty much, I think, once I hit 24 keys, my Thunder Forge Great Axe, I should be okay. A brutal Throw. Let's see, Cleave. And Great Cleave. There's my two-handed fighting, slashing up specializations. Um, the thing about heavy armor is I had this character went epic those last two levels before I did, uh, before armor up came out. So I went monk to be evasive, um, more survival. And then armor up came out and there may be a chance that I should have gone heavy armor instead, but at the time it was the right choice to be just survivable at all. Um, I really couldn't survive too much without that. Uh, let's see... Yeah. Nothing much else there. Of course I have no spells. Um, I went Kensai. Pretty much I'll show enhancements here in a second, but here's the list. I'll show the trees. I mean... Um, I, of course, didn't get the capstone because I had those two monk levels. Um, but this... Quickly show... My Kensai Focus, of course, axes with the dwarf bonuses and the Kensai Focus bonuses. I get pretty good to hit and damage with the axes. Um, let's see. And I hardly have any crafting on this particular character. My, I have a different character who's a crafter. That's the character sheet. Let's go over to the enhancements. I have all the dwarf because I wanted the toughness, extra hit points. So I've got all the um, ones there. And of course, I want axe training to get more axe bonuses. Did a little armor mastery. Um, out. Balance saves against poison. Child of the Mountain, um, I wanted to be careful with. I wanted the extra health, but I didn't want the negative to reflex saves, so I only did one rank of that. And then tactics, because when I can get a trip in, it's very useful. Kensai, I've got all of them except the capstone, which is alacrity. That would have been really nice. Maybe next time I do this, I'll do a fighter pure life. I'll fit that in. Um, I got tactics here too. I got dwarven tactics and tactics, so I get plus six to DCs there. If I take the legendary dreadnought one for tactics, I get another plus six. And if I get the boons to the innocent to drop, I'll have another twelve. Which means I can actually land an epic card and epic elite, possibly. 
Um, I don't really use a good death. I don't know really why I have that. One with the blade is useful because then I'm centered while I'm using my axe. That helps um, if I run in Grandmaster Flowers and just the uh, stance bonuses are being centered. Um, I don't really use Deadly Strike. I, I took Agility for the reflex saves. I do have a haste boost, which I use quite a lot on bosses particularly. I went and got item defense because I was taking a lot of damage, uh, item damage, and as I was still figuring out my gear set, I didn't want stuff to get damaged before I figured out I wanted to keep it and bound and attuned it, so I did it that way. Um, I took a, another ring of toughness there, and I did another armor class maximum dexterity bonus there, and actually I should do this. Uh, I move that? I guess not. Ninja Spy, I have basic ninja training just in order to get the plus 3% dodge, which is what I wanted out of that. And I think I don't have any other trees, so yeah. Those really don't matter. I'm going to put a Harper Agent back on here. Um, if I understood what's happening with U24 is Harper Agent will be available for favor. You need 310 Harper favor. At the moment, I am at 244 Harper favor. So I need to run the other Harper quests, get them on, on Elite. And... Uh, yeah, what do I need here? And that new quest is going to be Harper, I believe, so that'll help as well. Ah, uh, breaking the ice, breaking the ranks. Haunted halls, which I don't actually own. Lines of supply. Tracker shop was good. So that whole chain, I need to do an elite or epic elite. To get that, and then it's what. 7, 6 is 13, 19, 25, 32, and 18 is 40, 50, so there's another 50 points there. 50 points would get me almost there, and then that new adventure would put me over to 310, probably. So that's what I have to do there. Get all these epic and or elites and uh, do the new one. Then I'll have Harper unlocked, which I haven't really looked if there's anything useful here um, that I would want that's low enough. Well, toughness again. I mean, you can always use toughness. Energy resistance, that's useful. Harper bonus to hit. Spell points, which I think are okay with at the moment. That could be useful, but we're starting to get higher up in the tree. That's the int one, isn't it? Yeah, no thank you. There's a plus two three and four to thing, which is better than a feat. But I don't think I'm going to have enough points to put in there. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. I need to unlock it first, so I'm not really planning on that anytime soon. And then my destinies. I have finished capping them all. Uh, I'm currently running in Fury of the Wild. 
with the twists of Purify Weapon, Dance of Flowers, and Cocoon. Um, I haven't gone back to try anything else, really, since I've capped. I was running in Fury fairly recently and found it to be pretty powerful. Um, Adrenaline, the maximum hit points from Brawn are nice. Uh, Primal Scream is nice to have. Uh, random fast healing is always good on a fighter because I really can't heal myself except for Cocoon otherwise and those random heals do make a difference. Uh, PRR is good. Acute uh, Instincts is nice because that ha that happens when I um, have Scream on. I took Injury to do more damage. I really haven't noticed that working too much. Um, malicious Weapons for the Glancing Blows. Uh, Ward Against Weird, if I am getting in trouble, uh, particularly against Spellcasters, this helps. Sense Weakness is the big key here. Um, that is a lot of extra damage, 30% to the helpless, and then 1d8 below 75, 1d12 below 50, and 1d20 below 25%. It's all cumulative. That is really powerful. In fact, if I don't run in Fury, then I twist that in because it's that powerful. And Great Against Demons, which is nice because you've got the uh, Evil Outsider Bane, and plus two bonus and 2d6 extra damage against Evil Outsider, which as I said, I run Devil Salt quite a bit, and uh, that helps there. Let's see, anything else? Oh, gear, of course. Gear, gear, gear. So, I did not have much endgame 27-28 gear until recently when I started running some more stuff. Uh, the last really long 8-hour stream I did, um, we ran through those uh, Stormhorns quests and I got some things. The Guardian's Glasses is one of the items I got there. I don't remember if I had this or not. Um, the Deadly Mask of Accuracy, I put in the Fear Immunity because that's just necessary somewhere. I figured... I haven't had much that would be better than uh, Deadly 9 and Accuracy 8, so I put the Fear Immunity to Hopaz in there. I don't figure I'd be using that for a while. I still run with the Silver Plane Talisman all the time. Um, it's the fully upgraded one. 10 charges, negative energy absorption, death block, and protect from evil. Uh, it's just handy to have. Um, at some point I may go back and build another one or two of those. But for now I have that one. Uh, Death Block is useful all the time. Protection Me Full is useful all the time. And then Negative Energy Absorption. I understand that some people like to swap this item in and out as they want, so they manage those charges. Um, there's only a couple quests that I've run recently where I've run out of charges. And uh, I don't really have anything better to put in this slot at the moment, so that's what I'm running with. My Spyglass Less Cove, I upgraded this to Tier 3. You can see the uh, bug here that it shows Spot 20 and Spot 15. Spot 20 is what it actually does, so it's fine that it actually it shows Spot 15. It's not supposed to have it, though. Um, I upgraded to tier 3 to get the green slot so I could put the Master's Gift plus 5 experience points in, uh, augment in there. That way um, I can run from 20 to 28 and just keep this equipped, don't have to swap, and I always have uh, true seeing, extras to search and spot, insightful intelligence, enhanced UMD, which again at my, uh, my UMD that doesn't mean much. If I can get it up 10 or 15 points it'll make a bit better bigger difference uh, and be those last few percentage points to um, activate all the time. But uh, yeah, that's why I did that one. Got this recently from the uh, Stormhorns. The reason I'm keeping this on all the time, well there's two of them, one is uh, polar rays do a lot of damage. So by having the 20% cold absorption I help against polar rays. 
help against those killing me. Uh, the wizardry, I don't need the spell points necessarily, but it's very handy to have those extra spell points for a cocoon. Haven't figured out what to put in the slot there. Um, this, I don't think, is self-explanatory. 125% fortification and plus 50 hit points. Um, doesn't get too much better than that for a loot gen item. Ring of Shadows. Um, I have this for the blurry and ghostly. I don't have ghost touch anywhere. Um, so really, that's the main, excuse me, damage dealing part. Um, the blurry, of course, damage avoidance is always useful. Hide moves silently. Um, if I do something that's uh, stealthy, I can get through it with that. Um, I think this actually dropped for me. That's why it's an epic normal version. Again, this is kind of hard to beat, although I do have blinding speed, so it doesn't. Some of this doesn't uh, help. But plus 10 constitution is really why I have these. Um, the speed's good but the constitution is really what it's for. I need those extra hit points. Being melee. This is nothing that dropped the storm horns, I believe. Again, cold and fire resistance are just handy to have all the time. As soon as I get the boost to the innocent, they're going to go here and in here full time. And then these can be swappable if I need the resistance. Excuse me, but for now, this is the best of what I have uh, all the time, except that I do have I think fortification seeker boots I could put in here. They would help on the critical criticals, but um, I do pretty okay offensively with damage. I don't do so well defensively uh, with resistances, so I'm keeping that on basically being lazy and have those resistances all the time. And I have not yet yet a, a globe. If I had a globe, is it globe? Draconic. Whatever the one is that gives you plus three to all, all the elemental resistances, I don't have one of those yet. That I could go in somewhere and that would save it. Um, this I also got from Stormhorns, I believe. Strength 8, whatever. The big thing is sheltering. That PR and MR is where it's at. I needed to have that. Um, I had zero before, really. I think I had five. Yeah. Six, maybe. So this helps a ton because you can see that pretty much gives me the 23% physical and 19% magical damage mitigation. That one ring, which is amazing. I do know that the heroic version of this has the sheltering and it's only level 19. I would like to get hold of one of those as well. I, so that I can wear that uh, from 20 to 27, yeah. 2026. Uh, as far as the braces, the Sun Soul, uh, I just keep this. Um, I farm the comms to get this from Evening Star. The Wisdom's okay. The Insightful Constitution and Pairing are really what I want out of it at the moment. And then the Vestments again. Uh, the Resistance, the Enhanced Key are the ones I want out of this. The Armor Bonus is okay, but I mean, at 50 Armor Class, it's not really making that much of a difference in Epic Content. Um, this items I have in bank ready to use. I've got the skirmisher's locket and belt. Um, let's see, where's the rest of it? My bank's kind of a mess. I had tried to have it, have it organized at one point and then kind of fell apart again. I do have some of the drops from Necropolis that I need to fit in. I'm really depending on the Boots of the Innocent to play my gear around. Now oh, this looks better. Yeah. So here's some of the level 20 stuff that I have stashed away. Deadly Resistance, Fabricator's Gauntlet for the Resistance and Malay Alacrity, Fortified Boots of False Life, Got to overpower Ring of False Life. Draw Smoke Goggles just for Manslayer, really. Seeker as well, but 
Got a deadly head of natural armor. I've got the belt of the Sun Soul, so I have the full set for Sun Soul. and get that bonus. Um, and what else do I have? Well, there's my Boots of Seeking I mentioned earlier. And there's my old axe, the Great Axe of Train Soldier with two slotted. Uh, spear Gas and Spear Shock there. I was using that for a while. Uh, fear Immunity on that was nice. That's why I didn't have it Fear Immunity anywhere else. I went ahead and Force Critical Ritual that one. Um, that's still kind of my backup axe. I was going to try to bring it back in my inventory, but at the moment I don't see a need for it. Basically on any quest that's long or you have a chance of getting your weapon broken, I would bring that out. And I do have some green steel here and there. Um, you can see I have some shards. Do more green steel. Don't have the actual materials for everything I want to do yet, so I haven't been messing with those. Oh, and I got the Miller Cook of the Bear. That's right. I wanted the sheltering off of that. Plus, the Insightful Combat Mastery should help at lower levels. So I think that's it. Uh, quick overview of my main character. I'm going to highlight that on Twitch here and uh, have it saved. Alright, uh, my bars, I have uh, Cleave, Great Cleave, Trip, Sunder, Power Surge, Haste Boost, Shattering Strike I use a lot, Primal Scream I use a lot, Adrenaline Overload I use once in a while, and I guess I do use uh, once in a while. Uh, as a finishing move kind of thing. Um, cocoon, power attack, double strike stance, one cut, which I almost never use, weapon meditation, which I use a bit. You can see I still have consecration from my divine destinies. i got my owlbear and my um, panther here. have some elemental summons and harper pin, and then some weapons, Everbright, Club, I still have a walking stick I got with accommodations, and I use that for the immunity of slippery, slippery surfaces. It's handy for that. I use my triple positive staff, of course, for raise dead. My main weapon is this Thunderforge Great Axe that I got in the Astral Shard Auction House that already had the Meteor Arc Star Ruby slotted. First degree burns, Bane of Dragons. Uh, I force critical it. And then, of course, I've got some uh, various effects from Destinies and whatnot that are on top of its base, making it look even more impressive than it is. Uh, antique, antique Great Axes, but I'm currently trying to get Epified. That is the last item I want to get for my level 20 set. And then I have a trip, or uh, what is it called? Min 2 um, Great Axe. Gives me stone skin. Um, it's an okay backup, but really the damage rating's too low for epics. It still is some. Um, and then I've got. Oh, that's right. I got a spell touch throwing axe fairly recently. I'm using that as my throwing weapon. Shrieking incineration, wounding an adamantine. Plus six. I always try to keep a throwing weapon, even if I'm not that good at it, just because it's handy to um, get aggro from across the way, or trigger stuff, break stuff, whatever else. The only thing I'm kind of frustrated at is that even though I have all the specializations and focuses on axes, because it's a throwing weapon, um, I get uncentered while using it. That's a little bit annoying. I would expect that the throwing X would be right in my specialization and it would just work centered, but it doesn't. There's no groups at the moment. I am going to take a short break and get some water. And then uh, see if there's any groups. If not, I'm going to run something I don't know what yet. So I will be right back in a minute or two. As soon as I can get all my chords figured out. There we go.
I went and got an uh, English muffin as well, so pardon me while I eat this a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if video is working or not. Because Shadow Play says I'm streaming just fine and my Twitch video preview doesn't show anything. So let's hope it works. That's really bugging me. I'll pull out a tablet and check on it. Let's see if the video is working or not. this tablet twitch client is not that great Looks like the video is going. I see the far shifters are moving. I don't see my character moving yet though. There we go. Alright. Looks like the video is working. That's really all I wanted to do. Too many cords. Get settled in here. Alright, anything going on still? No. Still don't have all the pieces I need to flag on Heroic, so let's do that first.
Hey, I like the vans are there. Leave an auto run on. Oh, you know what? I don't have on is sound. I just realized. There we go. That sounds better. I'm used to being quiet, having sound off anyway. But you know. Streaming, it'd be nice to have sound on. You know, turn around here. That's the way I want to go. Stupid van was in my way. Uh, how many rats are? Look, there's four rats up there, so I'll probably get rats as well. chances for the parts I need to flag. Everything helped to fill in my silences, I think. Makes for a better stream. All I'm, all I'm getting is tabs. Useless. Oh, diamond open lock seven. That's not a tap. Not really what I want, but it's something and I'll take it anyway. Okay. Any groups yet? Mark of death. Death yet. I do want to run it, just nah. not at the moment. I think I'll go back and Run, uh, snitch. Oh, I didn't mention my rings, ring swaps or other swaps earlier. Oh well. Who knows, maybe I'll do another video and try to get it right this time. I might try EH Party Crashers solo. Um, I've run Party Crashers quite a bit. Generally, it has been uh, on normal though. The air in the illusion area is different than outside, as if you were transported into the deep with a Mark's enchantment shattered, 
the illusions around you dissipate. It's probably the way deeper into illusionary is open. Three stance. Cover. Oh, did I? Uh, the air probably suddenly didn't. shifts uh. from tropical heat to bitter cold. It is as if you were teleported leagues away, rather than just having walked a few. Uh. Small concern about the end fight being a bit rough. These archers have signal crystals attached on top. Are they simply decorative? With House Fiala, I don't you can see the rest of the problem. The light from outside. As long as I can stay standing, the giant emperor should be a problem. The illumination comes from phosphorescent mushrooms. Can't think of anything else at the moment. That would be a problem. The mark of shadow created copies of itself. They must be illusions. Only destroying the real one will end this death trap. There he is. That must have been the real one. The illusionary ones have disappeared, as well as the barrier into the next chamber. Unlike the previous room, this place feels like it's made that scorpion completely enveloped the Mark of Shadow. You will need to destroy it in order to get at the Mark. The destruction of this make-believe scorpion has also extinguished the mark of shadow. Yeah, that wasn't a problem. The illusionary barrier is gone. Maybe I'll try EH snitch after this then. I've been thinking about doing that because I really want the anti-grade axe piece to drop. Hopefully on EH it'll be a little better chance of dropping. of shadow around this chamber are restoring the illusion I love how he can m knock me down while I'm in the air that's just awesome I'm jumping this should be out of your range There we go. But you still need to enter the chapter house and stop the Maleficent Cabal's attack. That took a little longer than I prefer, but it wasn't that big a deal. I was really not in any danger. I could have cocooned earlier and more often to get my health up, but really I've got this space here where I'm really doing nothing but running that uh, I can use to heal up. Not worry about it. The Arlen Chapter House must have been closed as a precaution during the Grand Gala. 
The ballroom is on the far side of the chapter house, and it seems rather unlike next to the security gates. A large dragon mark of shadow is embedded into the wall. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy it. As I you may have in the two of the stats, I think. Last time I checked, of course, that was before I did the tomes. Because the chapter um, house theater normally hosts stage plays for of the cards. It looks like it shows are on not going to be able to be crunched down after down. update 24, and so decided to start using them and trading for them. By the way, I still have trade threads open on most of the servers, I think. Um, I have cards on all the other servers, not all the other servers anymore, most of the other servers. I have cards left. If you'd like to trade to the Thalanus, let me know. I would love to get more cards than Thalanus where I actually play, and in exchange you can have my cards on the servers I don't play on that you do. The it's a win-win. This display hall don't appear to be interactive like the ones in the illusion area. They probably won't attack you. Hopefully. Finally reach the House Fiarlin Grand Gala. Now to find the guest list and add Cyan's name. I'm not sure if I should do this or not. The party guest here seems like a harmless old elf, but that facade does not fool you. You easily see through to the malicious tiefling underneath. Yeah. I really can't... Well, if I can find him, then that'll actually be better than the battle. Because then there'll be more people to help me. The key is taking him out second or third, if possible. If I'm doing it this way, then I need to take the poisoner out first. That would be the most dangerous to me personally, I think. Yeah, she's still not here. So much of this quest is wasted in waiting for Cyan to walk. weather and feeling dehydrated, so excuse me for drinking so often, but I'm kind of feeling the weather. Decent timing. Go in here, grab that, kill these four statues, and pick anything that drops. And then meditate again should be the right timing. If it's not as close. And what that does is that battle meditation right there gives me more stacks of that. So it can be up basically my plus 10 grade X can be a plus 20 if I time the meditations right. Which is pretty nice.
I kill that spellmaster, then all those guys should be on my side, which should help this battle a bit. Take a little focus off of me. Get the spellcasters and the range guys down. those guys die, it's fine to me, as long as they provide a little bit of distraction. Looks like I'm down to the big baddie. Cyan took care of that one, so it's just him. I feel like finding my way back through the thing, back to the contraband vault, so I'm not going to do that. So low on EH, not bad. 11.42, a little bit longer than normal, but not horrible. This is a big cup, a lot of water, and I'm almost through with it already. Comes, more comes. So that was fun, let's try snitch. I definitely like to do. The sounds and smells of Let's the busy tavern drift in. It's going to be too Perhaps bad. Perhaps Roderick Neville won't cause a scene if you ask him a few discreet questions in a public place. Jerks. Damage my constitution like that. How dare you. Do this part fast. Avoid some combat. The stench of smoke walks down the corridor. And try to do this part, avoiding combat as well. If I can get it, come on. <sighs> this stupid ladder. This is just a pure sort of run of this. <coughs> Except I can't get my ladder jumps working right. Stupid ladder bugs. Again, I'm looking for that piece of the antique great axe. That's all I really want out of this whole quest. I don't care about anything else in this quest except that at the moment. Now it's possible I could get something and be happy with it as well, but what I really want is that anti-grid X piece. If, if I do that, then you'll see me ETRing today, probably. Get that piece and then last of my 20 shroud runs and then I'll ETR. You hear a metallic clang in the distance and angry squeals nearby. Just fast enough to be ahead of everybody and thus not have to fight them all.
thought I had a shattering strike there, but I guess I didn't. See my stacks of uh, first degree burns building up on him. So between that building up and then sense weakness also scaling up as he takes damage, the longer this goes on, the better damage I should be doing. And now he has the full 20 stacks, and you can see he's dead. About the time he gets 20 stacks, he's dead. As you open the valve, the muffled sound of gears turning can be heard from the water below. Mm, if that's still up. When I finish well, this, I am going to join that, I believe, because I definitely want to do all the orchard stuff. Below. If you're careful, you can catch up to Roderick Nettle and still let sleeping dogs lie. Considering I'm right almost at the uh, end here, should still be up, and hopefully. Not started. Even if it started, I'll do it, because again, what I really want is the boots, which is an end reward. It's bogus. Red alert. For what? All these guys just popped around me. It's not like I triggered them. I'm trying to r avoid them, run through, whatever. They popped up. Roderick Nettle's familiar giggle can be heard in the Interact next courtyard. Interact with my cocoon. It's time to deal with him once and for all. more plot. That's one thing I didn't like about this series. Is the waiting for plot parts. I like the quest design otherwise. Some of my favorite quests in terms of design otherwise. But way too much waiting for plot. So here, since it doesn't matter, I can blow all the adrenaline overloads. Just hopefully take him down really fast. That was almost 4,000 damage there, that was good.
Guess I'm gonna have to find somebody to run it on EE with me. Right back to the airship to repair, drop some loot, so I don't get uh, done here. Um, join that group. Doing orchard because I want to do all the orchards. Get some more loot if I can. Really hate how the shop window doesn't stay where it's reasonable. It goes in the corner over other stuff, which is annoying. Anything at the same time between uh, mouse look and non mouse look. Not quite working too well. I'm dropping all this junk in the bank for uh, my crafter to deconstruct. It's a personal thing. I always try to uh, get where I'm going. I think we're doing flesh makers. Flash makers. So you can use the group list to see that somebody's already in Flash makers. So just go there. You're there. I don't know why some people get confused when they get in groups. Where is everybody? Well, if the group's still open, I can see that. I don't quite understand why you can't see where everybody is in your group somehow in the interface. It seemed to be really logical to be able Brave to look at that. Sort through the discarded body parts, looking for anything of value. smell of rot fades as you enter the tree. A key glistens beyond the gate. Noxious fumes spray down the harvested zombies, preparing them for disassembly. The closed door seals off the drop shaft. You land the splash. The stream carries fresh zombies into the chopper room. Slicing blades and a swift current produce parts for the flesh maker's abominations. Hello. feels hotter and denser as you descend deeper into the laboratory. 
A heavy locked door stands to the north. See, we're trying the Super Zerg. Got invisibility. Well, had invisibility. I'm not sure if I still have it. it looked pretty non transparent to me. One twenty three or twenty eight. Interesting. Yep. Again, check the group list. You can see that four people are in Fleshmakers. Well, why are you asking that question? See now, you can't see that, which I think is stupid because I would like to be able to know where the rest of my party is. I mean, I, yes, you're in the party now, you can communicate easier, but there really isn't any reason to not show that so that people can keep track of, especially the leader can keep track of where people are. Rather than having to look here and count, or look at the map and go, oh, who's that that's not here yet, or anything like that. It just doesn't make sense to me. The assembly area is a large chamber with many stations. Saws, pliers, and bandages surround this makeshift operating. Well, you know what? It does make it a lot easier. A large ruined crystal hangs above a special operating table. The ground is scorched and seared.
Lost in thought, Mentau's bride is busy at work in the control room. That's such a horrible pun. Mentau, the flesh maker, instead of Mentos, the fresh maker. The lightning conduits disappear into two passages so above the room of life. The lightning machine shuts down. The true source of the machine's disruption appears. is safe once more. So we double recall to get to Inferno. voice drifts through the homes seek the flame guardians defeat them all then I shall appear sorry about that I had to answer my daughter Where did you guys go next? As if they were another Inferno. Ooh, yuck. I'll be there in a second. Sheets of flame engulf the walls of the Inferno of the day. And I hate when people do that.
the voice rasps. A flame flares to life, bringing the Guardian with it. Go to the Inferno and find this Guardian's remains, says the voice. Everybody moves faster than I do. Everybody does, everybody does. Flames rise, so too does the flames guardian. Even in death, this guardian endures. Set him out. Darken the torches and summon the guardian. Okay, who's got the stuff to put this out? And that was my last the one of them. Torch goes out. The undead flame guardian appears. leaps to his feet and attacks. is unobstructed here in the Inferno. Guardian roars to life, summoned by the torches. The Guardian's flame has gone out, says the voice, but it has been rekindled in the inferno. Extinguish the torches to summon him again. As the torches darken, a strange chill fills the room. The undead flame guardian has returned. Two have fallen. Two remain.
into the room as the final torch bursts into flame. Seek out the undead guardian in the inferno, says the voice. The western exit from this chamber has collapsed into rubble. The acolyte turns to attack. We'll descend to the inferno together, he cries. When the torches are dark, the Guardian will arrive. The fourth undead guardian appears before you. Go to the center of the inferno, says the voice. I await you there. Sinus appears in answer to your summons. I cannot help you, the cinder spawn says. I must destroy you. She has commanded it. Die, 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 die. The spawn falls without making any mention of the Black Abbot. Perhaps someone else controlled the creature? Nothing for me. Somebody got something. Tunnels run deep beneath the tree of woe. Moaning lost souls call out to you, and the icy winds of Rizia blow through the frozen cave. A thin layer of cracked ice covers the hole.
really hate this stupid lock here. Just because somebody isn't right here, it won't go. Sending deeper, soulbound brothers appear above and below. This is our chance to be together again, brother. Mysterious runes embedded in the ice glow brilliantly before and below you. So he wants the rest to go to the second one. Bottom's definitely ready. Top, top's with 10%, so I'd say kill. You freed the soulbound brothers. Send it. The familiar voice calls again. Louder and clearer. You are close. Come to me. Doomsphere's most trusted advisors were encased in ice. A cruel reminder of his pact with the Black Hand. The ghostly beholder addresses you. I am not yet free. Presume everybody wants to rest. Feather falls for pussies. The ice crumbles under your feet as the Doom Sphere is compelled to attack. The frozen floor shatters as the battle rages on. once again. Yeah. Doom Spears 
can anybody thank you anybody sure to thank you Handful, which is where I want the drop for me. I believe that's where the boots drop. I am disappointed they didn't uh, do the pre-raid upgrade, didn't upgrade Skiver, like what the fuck. I think they're more worried about everybody's running around with a pair of epic death nips. These keys will open the way to the lower catacombs. Way down into the temple depths opens. Passage to the catacombs opens.
Tilogra, come to my altar, says a voice from nowhere. Oh, that's that, uh... Yeah... That's what that other passage is. In a shower of rubble. I wondered... This is annoying. I'm trying to get to the Maroots, but I can't. It's the first time I got the extra chest. The blood of Vol has returned to reclaim our temple. The High Priestess. That was good. Traded something I already had for something I didn't have. Basically, it's the end result of that. I'll take it. I'm pretty sure I have that. Kind of funny if I didn't, but I'm pretty sure I do. Okay. Thanks for the runs. Bye. That's good. That was one of the things I wanted to accomplish today, was get a full run of this in. I'm going to have to go with Legendary Victor on that one. 3100 kill around, yeah. Okay. 
chain of conviction. That's what I already have. Scales of surety. Medium. Medium. Part of unbreakable adamacy. Part of unbreakable adamacy. Persuasion. Constitution. Any conviction looks better for me. I mean, it's nice. It has some interesting stuff on it, but I don't think I want it. I'm going to take legendary victory for another 3,100 gold now as an end reward. you don't have everything you want in there. In any case, I want the quest arc again. Uh, cat confirms that I am now flagged for murder death, which I wasn't before because I didn't actually talk to the dude. Twitch having problems again. Because I don't see a video or chat working at the moment. lately. It's kind of sort of really annoying. I don't mind so much if the video preview isn't working. I'll just hide it. But it shows me offline. That's annoying. I'll just head back to the ship. Take a short bio break, refill my water. Maybe think about a snack, we'll see. Mm, figure out what else to run. Because that was, yeah, most of what I wanted to run. I would love to run Stormhorns again, too. I don't quite... Let's look at my timer again for Shroud. 3 hours, 17 minutes. So I'm getting closer. Not quite there yet. If I run Shroud, I'll probably ETR, even if I don't have the great X piece that I want. Because at that point, it's just... ridiculous. Uh, get rid of that. You know what I need to do? Take out Take this out because in my bag to buy the box, I can just throw those. Yeah, they disappear.
Uh, there's the emerald gaze, which I already had, so basically I traded an extra emerald gaze for a seraphim. Tendence less would be nice, strength eleven would be nice. Fermi is the same. Insightful will save, okay. Shatter, eh, I don't send her very much, but okay, sure. Intimidate. That's okay. But I'm missing my deadly. I would have to do differently. I did have that item holder already, so that's fine. And then, train of conviction. And, let's see. Rising light. Court of reprisals. Overlining. Yeah. Got quite a bit for that quest. I still want the boots though. Re then I need to redo my 27-28 gear set after I do that. Okay, so nothing's going on at the moment. Did I remember to repair? Let's make sure. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to take another quick break here. I'm trying to take more smaller breaks rather than one longer break. Be back in a few. Uh.
Fish. Gonna go ahead and get some oh the fresh up maybe. A little snack here. Then I'll put the headphone back on. Right. 